Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here and today I want to chat with you guys a little bit about something that really highlights the uh, cognitive dissonance and sheer mental illness of the carnivore movement. And that is the fact that these people eat honey. Okay. Now I want you to understand that this shows that they are not based on any sort of science, any sort of logic, any sort of ration. It is purely a religious ideology because they have a religious dogmatic belief that animal products are good, that anything comes from an animal is good, and anything that comes from a plant is bad. And I think this sums it up more than anything. And, and the reason we say that, uh, because of the honey thing. Now, people will say, well, what's wrong with honey? Well, it's a refined sugar for all purposes. And it doesn't matter that it was made by bees instead of people. It doesn't even matter that there's some antioxidants in there. It doesn't matter that it can potentially help with allergies if, if it's a local honey, because those are separate topics, okay? In other words, something can have some beneficial properties and still have a bunch of negative properties, okay? Does that make sense? Hopefully people grasp that, right? Everyone grasps that, that very few things in this world are universally good or universally bad for you. There are things that will absolutely kill you that might have some vitamins or something in them, okay? So, so again, hopefully we understand that point. Someone finds a, a snake venom that has antioxidants in it. We don't say that it's good for you because it has the antioxidants, but they might be in there. Maybe that's a bad example. But let's come over and let's talk about, about the honey. Actually, it wouldn't surprise me if carnivores start drinking snake venom next because it comes from an animal that must be good for you better logic, right? And they wouldn't take the antidote if it was made from a plant, right? Well, there's plant stuff in it. So here's the issue with the honey. It's a, it's a refined sugar. What is it that even most low carb people, any and, and carnivore is largely based on low carb. They're all anti-sugar because of, they're anti-carb because of refined sugars usually. They recognize and understand, but then they've created a whole ideology off that. Their refined sugars are bad because, and hopefully we all know this because of the refined fructose. Fructose without fiber, okay? When it's consumed in significant amounts creates problems. Uh, I've discussed in vast detail in previous videos why that is, the pathways by which it does it. It's well understood. Other health benefits of honey aside do not remove the refined fructose component. And again, I want to state, bees are not magical animals that when they refine something, that it's, it's a different refinement than when a human refines it. In other words, if we take a, a plant or a, you know, a sugar and we strip it down, we refine the sugar and take all the fiber out and we're left with something that's 50% fructose, which we normally call table sugar, okay? We're not like magically different so that if a bee or a rhinoceros or an ostrich or something else <laughs> develops a way to put it through a similar process that, that that is removed. And that's exactly what honey does. It takes all this nectar, strips away all of the fiber, and we then create a source of highly refined fructose. As far as our liver is concerned, there's no difference. So here is the problem. You now have people who, who, what do we know about fructose intake? Fiber itself can offset the negatives of, of fructose. This is one reason fruit does not produce these same effects. One of the reasons. Plus it's the whole matrix of a food. It takes longer to break down. Uh, it gets to the to large intestine, still slightly more intact. In other words, less fructose load into the bloodstream. Okay. Because honey, and then they're eating no fiber, they're eating no vegetables, no plants, they are getting the same equivalent of a straight up shot of table sugar. Which most of us recognize is not good. And in their case, they're exacerbating it. How are they exacerbating it? Or say to diet high in saturated fat. Okay, let's come over and talk about why is the American diet so bad? Why is the American diet just kill the hell out of us? It's a diet that's high in fat and high in saturated fat and high in refined sugars. Okay, 
This is understood. Like the mechanisms behind why this is a problem is understood. So then the carnivores want to pretend that they're about health and they'll already do the other. We're going to diet high in fat, saturated fat. And then they'll eat honey because it's from an animal. And then they're like, well, see, you guys said that we're scared of carbs. We'll eat some carbs. So you're choosing to eat the worst possible carbohydrates you could eat are refined fructose. Okay. This is a problem. Like, this is insane. And they don't have any of the protective benefits of the plants from any of this stuff. All right? I mean, they're already eating a horrifically bad diet, so they're going to add that last element back in. That last element that they're missing from the standard American diet, they're going to throw it back in there. Say that it's okay because it comes from an animal. When the reality is, generally, we, we do need to limit to some extent what we eat from animals if, if we're going to look at the data objectively. Notice I didn't say you had to eliminate. I said minimize it to some extent. It's beneficial. All right. This is because carnivore is an ideology. It's a religion. It is a dogmatic religion, not based on science, not based upon knowledge of the human body, with zealot adherence and because honey even though it nutritionally falls into this horrible area it's problematic they will still eat it and even advocate it oftentimes purely because it comes from an animal so that they can be consistent with their dogmatic insane philosophy this is just as bad as the vegans who says if it comes from a plant, it must be good, and from an animal, it must be bad, so they will eat a bunch of chips fried in coconut oil. You know, let's, let's fry it in a saturated fat, and then add a ton of salt to it, right? Because it's vegan, it's okay. That is the same level of stupidity and mental illness being displayed. Because they're placing an, a religion and an ideology over science, over knowledge, over common sense. Again, carnivore is a religion. It's a cult. This is my issue with veganism, even though I like plant-based and think plant-based is generally has a potential for extremely high health. Okay? These are diet religions. Guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I'll talk to you guys next time.